Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm David, the one David J. I'm running Kirby Air Ride. Uh, category is Air Ride All Tracks. Uh, Couch can go ahead and introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Ace. I'm Konasumi. And I'm Shiv. So uh, I'll go ahead and get started, and I'll kind of explain what I'm doing as I go. So I'll give a countdown for the timer. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so like I said, um, it's all tracks, which means I have to complete time attack of all nine courses in the air ride mode. Uh, this game has like three game modes. Uh, this is air ride mode, which is like the main racing mode. So it's the most advanced and most fun for me because it's fast. Uh, main vehicle I'm going to be using for most of this is the sco wheelie scooter, uh, mostly because there's several scooter specific glitches that I use to go fast. It's so like that first one that I was doing that I was doing the spinning along the wall. Um, and then there was that sliding down the hill that I did, and then uh, this sliding along the wall, which is kind of similar to the first one. Uh, I'll explain a little more a little bit later, but uh, the main thing about this game is, uh, or a large part of it, is trying to build a momentum and then keeping it. Also, a big thing about this game is when you kill enemies, you get a speed boost, so there's some cool things that go into that with like trying to make sure you have certain power-ups at certain times. Uh, shout out to that whale over there. Float by. Uh, but yeah, so like that glitch that I'm doing here is. Uh, oh, I should probably explain the controls. So this game's controls are super simple. There's um, only the A button and the joystick, and that's it. Uh, the A button controls just about everything. It is your charging, which is like a mixture of braking and then uh, charging up. Kind of like mini turbo, I guess. It's just like when you release A, you uh, release the charge gates at the bottom right to get a little bit of a speed boost. Or the speed boost varies based on the vehicle. And then uh, also helps you turn faster. If you press A in front of an enemy, it sucks them up. And then with certain power-ups, it uses them as well. So like the ice thing, when I was holding A, I'd make the ice field around me. And then joysticks used for everything else. Steering, and then if you quickly tap left, right, or right, left, you do a quick spin. Uh, so... Do all the tracks run on the three lap system, or are there some where they're just one lap? What was that? Do all the tracks in this category run on a three lap system? Three laps? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I get shift volume up a little bit? Or it's a little bit, or a little bit hard for me to hear. Uh, oh yeah. Also, all the uh, courses in this game have like different names on the Japanese version for some reason. So, like, this is Sandula, which is kind of silly. Instead of, on the US version, it's like Sky Sands. So. <laughs> we generally call them by the Japanese names because they're funnier. But, yeah, either way. So, hitting enemies isn't an exploit to, boot, get to, to boost speed, right? The only exploit is just hitting in walls that boost uh, your speed. Is that what it is? Yeah, well, so you get the speed from killing enemies or from hitting the walls. Uh, and the main thing is like hitting the walls, like I said, is only done with this vehicle, which is why I use it for most of it. Can I get game volume down like a little bit more actually? Sorry, it's yeah, the game volume is pretty loud. Yeah, it's very loud. We good now? Sometimes you mess up and that kind of happens. Oh yeah, I should explain the spin dash a little bit more. Basically, like if you're spinning and like charging and turning towards the wall, the game tries to like push you away from the wall. Um, but since you can turn so sharply with the scooter when you're charging, uh, you kind of like push back against the wall and then it doesn't really know what to do because it's trying to push you away, but you keep pushing back towards it. So it just kind of zips you along forward instead. It's like not possible in all walls, right? Uh, yeah, there's some walls, uh, we call them like hard walls and soft walls. Um, the hard walls have like harder collision that push you away more, and then soft walls are generally like near corners, like these ones, and they don't really push you away as much, so uh, you don't get the speed if you're spinning, but fortunately if you're just not spinning and charging to them, it does a pretty similar thing. Uh, it's not quite as strong, but it's still very useful. And that tends to work out better, like the faster you're going for the non-spinning ones. Oh 
Oh yeah, very important uh, tech. You see I'm on port 4 here, player 4. Uh, that's just because I like Red Kirby the best. And when you start the game, it defaults to port 4 to Red Kirby, so... It doesn't actually matter what port you use. And like, honestly, once you change Queen color... Best Kirby. What was that? I said, honestly, Queen Kirby's best Kirby. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know it's on that one. Couch beef. So it's my favorite course, uh, Checker Knights, or Check Knight. It's like the longest course in the game, but it's fun. It's got a lot of stuff. It's fun to watch. Uh, yeah. That super long uh, sliding glitch. Oh, that's kind of like the third scooter glitch. It's actually Japanese exclusive, which is part of the reason that we use the Japanese version. Um, but the way that works is like if you catch air while sliding, then for the remainder of the time that you hold the slide, you like lose speed a lot slower than you normally would. Um, you'll see it like super uh, specifically like at the end of the lap here. Uh, there's a thing that saves like multiple seconds per lap on the Japanese version. I go over like this little lump on the ground here, and then I can just kind of like slide along and pick up all these boosts. Uh, well, not that one because I missed it, but I'll show it off better on the second lap. Uh, the speed maintains like all the way around this corner, like all the way up to here, pretty much. So the other thing about the Japanese version is that the physics for the cars are actually kind of different, right? Yeah. So um, all the vehicles are a little bit lighter, which is um, just makes most of them a little bit faster overall. It's actually what causes this this sliding glitch in particular to work, because it actually kind of happens in the US version, it's just the effect isn't strong enough to uh, be able to be used really. Do you know if this game was released in Japan or America first? It was released in Japan first. Yeah, that's what um, I thought, usually these older games, because sometimes you see like with uh, the newer um, Nintendo games, sometimes they're released in America first, but so, so you say that um, the lightness was patched out, was made heavier. Yeah. Okay. That's and I think the reason why they changed it was because um, for City Trial, which is the most common mode casually, where like you go around the city and pick up power-ups for your vehicle and stuff. Um, the weight ends up being better, because like if you get hit, you don't get kicked around as much. Um, um, so it makes it more enjoyable for the casual player. Yeah, I think that's probably why. Uh, like There's a few things with Scooter where it'll just kind of start skidding for no reason, and like it won't really stop. So, so that's the car you're using, right? Yeah, this is really good right now. I'll use this for six courses. Um, so is it, it's a necessity to run on the Japanese version, right? It's not really a necessity. Um, you can run on the U.S. version, and it doesn't make too much of a difference for a while. Okay. Um, I ran on the U.S. version for oh, a so while. So it's a, it's a skill ceiling thing. Right? Kind of. Like, technically, my current PB might even be possible on the U.S. version uh, if you're incredibly good. But it's definitely maybe 20-ish seconds. 20, 30 seconds, I think, for the Japanese version overall. Is there a split on the leaderboards, or they just keep it all the same? We board? just keep it all the same. That's smart. You can just filter it anyway. So, up next is Machine Passage, or Steel Organ, on the Japanese version. Um, this course is also really cool. It's just super fast. It's scooter. Oh, yeah, another thing about the lightness of the vehicles is uh, it makes a pretty big difference for Rocket Star, which is the vehicle I'm going to be using next, or after the course after this. Um, the thing about that vehicle is, um, I haven't really gotten to show it off yet, but like when you release the charge, you actually get like a speed boost. That doesn't really happen with Scooter, um, which is kind of like one of the aspects of the vehicle. Um, all the vehicles in this game are like super unique, so they all kind of have their own gimmicks. And like the gimmick with Rocket is that it gets the most speed out of boost. Um, but it makes a big difference for that because uh, when you're like charging and sliding around a corner with Rocket, um, you don't lose nearly as much speed if you are if you're on the Japanese version because the vehicle's lighter. So I'll get into that a little bit more when I get to Rocket. But we have a twenty dollar donation from Peer Strike saying, Yo. "Good luck, my boy. You're killing it." Also, Red Kirby sucks. Dale, Dale, Ooh. Dale, 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 Dale. <laughs> Thanks for it. Oh yeah, so Dale, this enemy, those two enemies that I just ran into, those like, flown orb enemies, the greatest enemy of any video game. Uh, they're just like, non-power-up enemies that are only in this game for some reason. And they don't, they're not aggressive, they just kind of sit around, they sit in like, caves and stuff, and they just like, light up the cave for you. And if you kill them, you go fast, so they're cool. Have you ever uh, seen do they light up the caves? They also light up your life. Oh, that's true, yeah, they light up your life. <laughs> uh, Has anybody ever seen Paul and Pear in the same room? I guess not. Uh, but yeah, that's what my shirt is. It's Dale. Dale. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen Dale and Paul in the same room, no. That too, yeah. Oh yeah, another thing about um, Scooter is, um, it matters for a couple stages, is uh, since you can't, or 
you'll see once I get plasma later on, but you can't actually spin when you have plasma. Because uh, when you like when you move the joystick, it charges up the plasma gauge instead that you can shoot off. So I had to specifically avoid getting plasma in several cases there. Uh, most of the time just by getting needle instead. Um, but it's hard because like, when you're pressing A to do spin dashes and the wall slides and stuff, um, you would suck up the plasma. So I had to have something else. Whoa. Oh yeah, you can just like move the camera around with the C-stick. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, there's also this windmill. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to get picked up. Um, I was trying to like wait until the other side of the cycle. Um, it goes on like a cycle every like about a second or so. Like half a second it picks up and half a second it doesn't. Uh, if you get picked up, it's slower. Um, the main thing is like the route that you take. There's just nothing to do there. There's no like boosters. There's no enemies. Um, the wall there, you pretty much can't even spin dash on outside of like the first little strip of it. Uh, so it's just kind of slow. I'll show off the other path. This lab. Uh, those rails at the end, um, the le the two rails on the left cause you to move faster, but the two rails on the right are enough of a shorter distance that you want to take them anyway. But like I stayed on the left two rails just for a little bit. Oh yeah, bird is horrible. Uh, the transformation power-ups, bird and wheel, cause you to go quite a bit slower. Um, bird in particular, wheel isn't too bad. Um, it's actually relatively fast compared to a lot of the vehicles in the game, just not to the fastest ones. So similar to what I was say saying about the plasma uh, in general, sorry. Um, I try and have something when I'm going by birds so I don't suck them up on accident. That was a really good lab. Uh, anything like 42 or under is super good for me. So. Yeah, one of the things that's really cool about this game is like the vehicle diversity. So starting on the next level, I'll show off Rocket Star, and then I'll use a couple other vehicles for the rest of the run. Um, let's go ahead and finish this up here. Get to that. Oh yeah, important camera tech to show off here. For some reason, when you exit this rail, the camera like gets stuck for a little bit. Kirby kind of like flies through it. She just release the camera like that. Most important trick in the speedrun, right? Yeah. Oops, did the wrong one. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this is Magma or Mag Keith. Um, big thing about here, or really quickly, like at the beginning, I hold the boost a little bit longer because there's like, if you hold it a little bit longer, the ground changes in some way and you get like more speed out of the very first boost. So normally you go like 87, but I got a 117 boost instead. I'm not really sure why that happens, but it only happens on this course. Um, I have to worry about something like that. Alright, this level's super cycle based, so uh, I always want to take the middle path whenever possible. Uh, the right path is alright, and then the left path is horrible. So, like, I actually waited there for a little bit on the rail, charging up another boost so that I would get to the middle path. Um, something I didn't explain yet because it didn't happen with Scooter is um, with vehicles that aren't touching the ground by default, so, like, Rocket Star like, kind of floats on the ground, as do most vehicles. Um, you have to tap A to touch things on the ground, like the boosters. Uh, so actually, if you tap A twice on the boosters, you just get the speed boost twice. Um, so that's part of the reason why I'm shooting off so fast, but also just the speed boost from not being Oh In general, sword is the best power-up almost all the time. Uh, there's like a few cases where you want something other than the sword for certain things, but you can almost never go wrong with it. Sword just like auto hits enemies in past them, right? Yeah, it just kind of like slashes in front of you. Can the sword colliding with a wall give me a speed boost? Or is that not worth it though? What was that? Can the sword colliding with the wall give you a speed boost? Or is that just. Does like extend your, your hitbox out to the wall? Oh no. Okay. It only slashes into enemies. Uh, the sword actually just lasts like a certain amount of time. The way it works, uh, so it doesn't matter how much or little it gets used. I think it's like exactly, I think it's like 15 seconds from when you start to suck it up, which I guess would probably be like 14 seconds of actual usage. So up next, I got Fantasy Meadows, which is the shortest course in the game. 
course, is like super short. It's just like an oval. You go really fast. The main thing is I'm going to try and get that sword that I just got there onto the second lap to the jump because uh, it'll save several seconds if I can get it there because it'll save a boost and then looks like I'm done. Oh, I missed the rail. Okay. Well, I would have like slashed all those Scarfies in the air and I would have had to do that charge. I would have just like maintained a lot more speed, but that's fine. The Dales are so happy in that cave. Yeah. That cave's always full of Dales. It's great. Oh, this is the last time we see Dale on the run, so that's very unfortunate. But uh, we'll suck these up to uh, come with us, you know. This is a long track. Yes, you do. Uh, so up next is uh, Celestial Valley, and we're using Jetstar here. Uh, Wheelie Scooter is the other option, and it's a little bit faster overall. But I've been a little bit more consistent with Jet recently, and I just kind of wanted to show it off because it's really cool. Uh, the main thing is. Uh, whenever you catch air, you get like a burst of speed, so we call them, it's like intended mechanic of the vehicle. Uh, we call them jet dashes, and uh, oops. the main thing is the speed falls off fairly quickly when you're in the air, but it falls off a lot slower when you're on the ground, so uh, we like get it and then instantly drop to the ground again. And then we can use that speed to get even more jet dashes from like little lumps off the ground where we wouldn't already, just because of how much faster we're going. The different mechanics and the different vehicles are one of the coolest parts of this game in this run in general. Yeah, yeah it really it's one is. of the things I really like about it. If you're like taking damage, you don't get the speed, which is what happened there. Oh yeah, there's three windows there, the top one's the fastest. It's the shortest path, and then also the rail moves you faster. Uh, the middle path is like, I guess not terrible to get, but it's slow. And then the bottom path is just like horrible. Um, it matters more with Scooter, because it's a little bit harder to get the top window every time, but with Jet it's easy. That's one of my favorite things about this level is like that little strip there before the jump. If you can like get all those jet dashes super well. And a cool little thing you can do with Tornado here is you can just kind of like spin against that wall. And then uh, you can get like two or three jet dashes because like you pop up from hitting it. You just like tap A and then drop to the ground and then you hit it again. I didn't do it super well there, but it kind of showed it. Okay, so that was Celestial Valley from Jetstar. And then the last level here I'm doing is Nebula Belt. I'm actually going to be using Bulk Star. If you've ever played this game casually, you'd think, like, why would you ever use this vehicle? Well, it's because I'm going to drive backwards. <laughs> uh, and actually, uh, I'll explain it once I get it. I probably could have just, like, looped around, but I wanted to restart. Just because it's easier to get the setup. Uh, so, the way this vehicle works is you charge up the charge gauge, and then it releases it as if it's fuel. And, um, like, releasing from full charge brings you up around 60 kilometers an hour. But the issue is, like, usually you start from going pretty slow. But if you fall off a jump, it, the charge doesn't start, start being used until you hit the ground. It's just, like, how the game works. So you gain speed as you fall. You can get up to, like, 40 or 45 kilometers an hour. So you go from, like, 45 to 105 instead of, like, 0 to 60. Uh, so it ends up being pretty quick here. Uh, Scooter is a little bit faster if you're really good with spin dashing. It's actually quite a bit faster if you're really good with spin dashing, but uh, Bulk is the second fastest vehicle here, whereas it's not good just about anywhere else. So I figured it'd be cool to show off. It's always cool seeing the like, different mechanics of the different vehicles, too. Yeah. Shout out to Jiggly Kirby. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Rainbow Road from Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like Rainbow Road. Final stage in the game, bonus stage. Uh, I guess they opted to not put any enemies on the stage, just put these uh, uh, power up randomizer platforms instead, unfortunately. Uh, I think this stage would be a little bit cooler if it had some enemies, but. We should have added a space down. 
Oh, space. Yeah, Cosmic Dale. That would have been so good. Interdimensional. Might have to, like, figure out ROM hacking tools for this game and put Dale in it, but change the texture to be Cosmic Dale. Definitely more hit. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. I can just kind of drive in a straight line, so I don't really have to do anything right now until I get up to this corner. The first time I saw this trick, like, my jaw actually dropped. I was... I was so amazed by it. Like, Bulk star? Useful? What yeah. is this? Driving backwards to start the run. And basically just the reason for that is because it's so long to a jump that it's faster to turn around and then start start off with that speed boost than it is to like drive all the way to the next jump. Oh, anyway, time's coming up as soon as I cross the finish line here. So in a couple seconds. And time. So that was Kirby Air Ride. Uh, I'm just going to show off one thing that's really silly with the Bulk Star. Uh, it'll take like a minute or so. Um, not only is it fast, it can also fly. Uh, so I'll show it off and then I'll explain what I'm doing. <laughs> so if you mash A really fast, it'll like gain height. Uh, Unfortunately, if you hit the ceiling, it like put it reverses your height. So, so you can see like I'm starting to level off there. Then I mash A and I get more height. Just gotta make sure I don't hit the ceiling, or else it'll like pull me down. <laughs> oh, yeah, like there, I hit. The oh, actually, it's still okay. Anyway, yeah. So this is the Wonder Vehicle. Greatest vehicle of all time. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, that's Kirby Ride. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone.